what is going on guys and welcome in this video we're going to create a drop down menus actually multiple drop down menus in our nav bar and you'll see actually how easy it is so as always fire up your text editors and let's get to work so how do we create a nav bar with multiple drop down menus well the first thing we would need to do is obviously create our html tags for that right so over here i'm going to create again a nav and within an eye we're going to create a on our list and within on our list we're going to create list items right so over here i'm just going to say that list items should be something like uh four of them so over here it's going to have a href attribute and that href attribute is going to have a uh, value of home over here this is going to be our link and this is when we're going to copy this let's say info over here and then it's going to be about and this is going to be like survey or something right so this is going to be our serve first uh first line right and after that we're going to create a couple of more drop downs so we're going to create a drop down out of this survey so the way we would do that in this case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to say copy and we're going to create a little bit more space over here and we're just going to paste it and over here, I'm just going to say that this is going to be a menu one over here like this. And I'll do that with all of them. I'm going to say that this is going to be menu one. And over here also, it's going to be the same thing. And the last one also is going to be, well, you know what? Let's call it this one drop down, right? And what we're going to do after that, we're going to create one more drop down menu over here. So I'm going to paste this. And now you can see over here how we have a drop down menu right so what we can do is actually uh, start styling and obviously we would need to do that in the head element so i'm going to go to the head element over here like this and i'm going to say that i would want to create a style tags and the first thing what i want to do is obviously again create uh, margins and padding zero but let's just do a little bit different this time let's just create a let's say for all the unordered lists let's say let's create a background color let's say blue something like this so now you can see how all of them are blue well maybe blue wasn't the best color let's create something like yellow because you can see that our um, uh, links by default are always blue right so let's create yellow so now you can see that pretty much everything is yellow because uh, on our lists are going down the line or let's say over here if we create list items and we say the background color for all the list items should be let's say red so we can see uh, why we're doing the paddings and actually margins of zero right so what we would need to do over here is let's say if we say that ul's all the list uh, on our lists should have a list style type none so then we're going to get rid of the circle but you can see still over here this this yellow right and this is our on our list and this is because of the paddings and margins so over here if i create a all the elements and i say that i would want all my elements to have a margin zero and a padding zero you can see that now everything is red which is the color of our list item right and let's just start styling one by one everything and we're pretty much going to be jumping a little bit a little bit back and forth however we just kind of want to do it uh i don't know in order right so over here i'm going to say nav and i'm going to say ul and li right because i only want to style the first uh my first list items over here these ones right those are the ones that i want to style and the first thing i'm going to say is going to display and i'm going to want them display inline block right so again as always what happens is that this on our list over here these ones they're pushing this survey all the way to the top right however they are in line but the rest of them they're actually uh, styled as block elements right that's why they're not in a line they're actually uh, from top to bottom right so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to say nav ul li ul and we would want a uh, position to be absolute or here we're going to say position absolute 
and we're going to say that we would want a top to be 100% over here like this 100% and left also to be 0 right however we need to remember that these ones need to be right now position relative because those are the ones that are going to be actually holding them accountable right because before that before we wrote over here relative they were actually this on our list was somewhere here in the bottom right let me just show you right it was somewhere you can see over here but once i set this position to relative relative over here like this you can see how it is all the way to the top right <clears throat> So the next thing that we want to do is actually deal with this drop down menu, right? So what we would want to do again is actually create a nav and then we say UL and then we say LI and then we say again UL and then again LI and then UL, right? So this is how we actually get to the sub menu that we want, right? And again, we say that we want to, to be position absolute over here, position absolute right and then we want to say that we would want it to be a let's say left to be this in this case 100 percent over here and we would want to be top to be 100 percent to be zero sorry right so now that you can see that they're pushed all the way to the top and the reason for that is again we set this to absolute however these ones are relative right so we would need to add these list items right the, the second one these ones over here we would want to set them as a relative so it would be sitting right next to it right so again we just create over here a new rule and we're going to say the nav ul li ul li over here that we would want them to be a uh, position and we would want the position to be relative, right? So now you can see what happens is that uh, how we actually got them to be lining up, right? And obviously what we can do right now is we can say that, uh, let's start with the last one, that we would want them to be display and display none over here like this. And we're gonna create a new rule right on top where we're just gonna say the nav ul li ul li over here hover we're going to say that ul's are going to be display block so let's check it out what we have as we're hovering over this one you can see that this one is showing up right and again we can do the same thing over here with this one you can see that we have a uh, display and we have display none over here like this so now this one disappears however what we can do is uh, we can set the new role over here and we can say nav ul li hover ul over here and then we say that this one should be display block so we go back over here and we say display block so you can see what happens as i'm hovering all of them now they're actually appearing and now you can see that it is very primitive the way it looks however we can obviously make it a much more nicer style right so we would probably first start with the actual nav ul right so i'm going to go somewhere over here and i'm going to say that nav ul i would want to be a i don't know height to be let's say 60 pixels as always i'm going to say that the line height also should be like something like 60 pixels right then what else we can do i don't know text align maybe center something like this then after that what we would want to do maybe a little bit better background color so we're going to say a background color we're going to say something like dark gray something like this then after that what we want to do is actually work with these list items and we would probably want them to have a different background color let's say we're going to say a background color to be something like i don't know let's try beige and let's add a border radius border radius and we're going to say that we want border radius to be like five pixels right so it's pretty dumb but it's gonna it's gonna get our job done so over here i'm gonna say padding and i'm gonna say padding 0 20 so they're a little bit bigger and i think now we can actually go and start working with over here with this uh with our uh 
anchor tags or links in our uh, in our actually document. So over here I'm just gonna say list items, and what I'm gonna say that I would want a text decoration, text decoration to be none. I would want them to be display block because I want to click them everywhere, not just when I'm clicking on a link. And I would want a color to be like, let's say, something like chocolate, right? So now that we're done actually with our links, and you can see over here, it's hard to see because I have still this background color. Let's actually go ahead and start working with uh, next setup uh, on our list over here, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to say that I would want a, let's say, background color over here. But I'm just going to say that the background color, I'm just going to care about this uh, list items over here. So I'm going to say again that this is going to be beige. So I'm going to say background color. And this is going to be beige over here like this. So let's check it out what we have. You can see that they turned beige. Now this on our list, I would want a width to be 100%. So it's exactly uh, the width of the list item over here. So you can see this will, this would happen, right? Now, what we can also do is, uh, as we're hovering over our list items, we would want to have some type of border. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a new item over here. I'm going to say nav ULLI. And over here, I'm just going to say hover. Hover. And we would write over here that we want a color to be a little bit different. So let's say I'm just going to say the color is going to be, as I'm hovering, is going to be black. All right, so let's check it out. You can see how it's turning black. And the same thing happens as I'm going over the menu. And the last thing we would need to do is actually get a background color for our list items. So I'll write nav, ul, li over here. And then again, ul. And then again, we're going to write yeah, ul and li. And over here, we're going to say that background color, we would want a beige. So let's go and check it out what we have. You can see that I have a beige over here. So now you can see how easy it was to actually create a multiple drop down menus within our nav bar. And if you want to just add it somewhere else, let's say that right now you have this unordered list, right? And you can just copy this and let's say that you want to add it over here. Where's the info? So we go over here and just paste it over here like this. And let's check it out, right? And now our info has the menu, right? Because we already set the rules for multiple multiple dimensions, right? So this is how easy it was.